ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Canal Algeria's News in English. In today's top stories, the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tiboun, receives the head of the Movement of Society for Peace, Abdel Razak Mokri, at the premises of the Presidency of the Republic. The Prime Minister, Ahmed bin Abdurrahman, chairs a government's meeting that discusses different matters in various sectors. And the head of the kickoff of the 2022 African Nations Championship that our country is hosting, we take a look at the latest preparations from state-of-the-art infrastructures to volunteers eager to help make this event a success. In Morocco, the latest statement of the Moroccan Minister of Justice fuels the discontent of law students that demonstrate in front of a lower parliamentary chamber in Rabat. <music> Lastly, we visit Tipaza province for the conference on the Asian port of Tipaza, an archaeological site listed as World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Good evening, those are today's headlines. We begin our news edition with the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tiboun, receiving the head of the Movement of Society for Peace, Abdel Razak Mokri. The meeting took place at the premises of the Presidency of the Republic. After the meeting, the head of the Movement of Society for Peace, Abdel Razak Mokri, made the following statement. في لقاء سابق مع السيد الرئيس كان أخبرني بأن أبوابه مفتوحة للنقاش. During our previous meeting, the president of the republic stated that doors are open to dialogue and debate with all the parties and personalities aspiring to more cooperation, and this for the interest of the nation. This interview was an opportunity for me to share my views and observations on political and economic issues. I discussed openly with ease with the President of the Republic, who also told me of his visions. We are reassured that there is a relationship of trust and dialogue between the opposition and the authorities, in particular with the Presidency of the Republic. We wish our country all the best, and we must all cooperate in the interest of the nation, whatever the differences of views and ideas. The Prime Minister, Ayman bin Abdurrahman, chaired on Wednesday a cabinet meeting held at the government palace. During this weekly meeting, the government examined the following points. In justice, the government examined a preliminary bill related on the prevention of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances, and the suppression of their illicit use and trafficking, submitted by the Minister of Justice, Keeper of the Seals. As for the preparations for the sacred month of Ramadan, the government listened to a joint presentation by the ministers in charge of the sectors of trade, interior, energy, national solidarity, agriculture, irrigation and fisheries, as well as the post. On preparations for the, holy, for the sacred month of Ramadan related to measures taken and agreements and arrangements adopted to ensure the availability of affordable food and agricultural supplies and the regular supply of the market. In the field of energy, the Minister of Energy and Mines made a presentation that included the development of a strategy on energy mixing. In the field of agriculture, the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development and the Minister of Trade and Exports Promotion made a joint presentation on the results of the census of the production of cereals and dry pulses and the results of the census of food storage capacities. The Council of the Nation, created under the Constitutional Revision of 1996 and officially installed in 1998, celebrated its 25th anniversary this year. This commemoration coincides with the third anniversary of the swearing-in of the President of the Republic, which constitutes a stop to renew its, com its commitment to defend the causes of the nation. On the occasion, the High Chamber of the Parliament organizes festivities under the slogan, a quarter of century of the constitutional edifice from national recovery to the new Algeria, and this during the third week of the current month. The 2022 African Nations Championship is only eight days away. Now it is time for finishing touches at the concerned stadiums, namely the new Nelson Mandela Stadium of Baraki, that will host the upcoming encounter between the Algerian selection and its Ghanaian counterpart in a friendly game on Saturday. More details with Sabrina Tafirginit. The new Nelson Mandela Stadium in Barakian, with its 40,784 seats, the host of the opening ceremony, 
and the first match of Shan 2022 is now ready for this continental event. The workers are working hard to make the final adjustments and clean the stadium before the inaugural match, scheduled for Saturday between the Algerian selection and its Ghanaian counterpart. The works ended the 5th of July 2022. The second step was the testing of technical equipment, which are equipped with the latest technology. It will make it match several global stadiums. Here they are doing cleaning operations and the final touches. The stadium is ready. Major equipment of the Algiers metropolis, the Nelson Mandela Stadium, meets the standards required by FIFA and is dedicated exclusively to high-level football, making it among the first in Africa in this English style. Made in 68 hectares, including 5 hectares built, it includes all the necessary facilities to organize global or regional football events, namely a hotel with 50 rooms, a conference room that can accommodate 258 people, a media and press space as well as a commercial pool. Outside with 13 hectares of parking space that can accommodate up to 2,534 spaces between vehicles and buses, and 60 hectares converted into leisure park and green spaces, the public and officials of the state will enjoy remarkable comfort. The two seventh-generation hybrid loans use air fiber technology. The main loan benefits from a system of high-quality light therapy to ensure phototherapy due to the morphology of the cover that blocks sunlight. The stadium has four FIFA standard local rooms, two large restaurants, 42 refreshment bars, as well as 22 VIP boxes. Talking about security, it is equipped with a surveillance system by cameras and electronic gates. We achieved this construction of the stadium in a record time. We ensure the technical assistance. Amid Sean, the project must be protected by the elements attending the event. This architectural gem of the capital, added to those of Miloud Hadfi of Awan, Tiziusu and Dwira, will strongly consolidate the Algiers file to win next February the organization of another African competition, that of Cannes 2025. As we saw, everything is set up to host the 2022 African Nations Championship, namely sports and hotel infrastructures throughout the country, among which is the Shahid Hamlaoui Stadium in Constantine that is ready to host different matches under the best conditions. Details with Manal Ammari. The city of suspension bridges, the ancient city of Serda, is fully prepared to host the 2022 African Nations Championship, better known as SHAN, held in Algeria from January 13th to February 4th. The Shahid Hamlaoui Stadium, well known for Algeria's first ever qualification to the World Cup in 1982, was also the venue for the consecration of Ia Satif in the CAF Champions League. This stadium got a new look in preparation for this upcoming African competition, during which it will host six matches from Group 3, as well as a quarter-finals match. With its culture, history and warm welcome, the eastern capital of Algeria will sure witness unforgettable moments throughout this continental sports event. More than 300 volunteers continue to prepare for this major event that Algeria will host from January 13th. The Directorate of Youth and Sports of Algeria's province ensures that all these young volunteers will meet the expectations. Rania Bahri will tell us more. Accompanied as spectators and guide the Algerian families at the level of Nelson Mandela Stadium. A mission that nearly 300 volunteers will accomplish so that this seventh edition of African Nations Championship takes place in the best conditions. <laughs> Only a few days separate us from the start of this continental football event. We have nearly 300 volunteers here whose role is to guide the supporters during the matches. These young Algerians are impatiently awaiting the start of this great adventure in order to prove once again that Algeria is known for its hospitality. Our role will be to help and guide families who aren't used to go to stadiums. 
I hope to see many women came to the stadium. I invite them to come and enjoy this competition. I always wanted to work in this beautiful stadium. Our only goal is to honor our country. While waiting for the start of the 2022 African Nations Championship, these volunteers continue their preparations in order to give an honorable image of our Algeria. The Sahrawi People's Liberation Army carried out new attacks against positions of the Moroccan occupation forces in the regions of Sibkhat Nushat, Laqad, Akwira, Wild Abilal, in the sector of Mahbas. The attacks of the Sahrawi People's Liberation Army continue against positions of the Moroccan occupation, costing them heavy human and material losses. Still with international developments, so the latest statement of the Moroccan Minister of Justice further provoked the law students who expressed their dissatisfaction and indignation before the lower parliamentary chamber in Rabat. The Mahzam faces one of the most important waves of popular protests, in particular because of its risky policy, Rani al-Bahri, once again. <laughs> In Rabat, the law students are revolted because of the last declaration of the Minister of Justice deemed unworthy. And it is in front of the lower house of parliament that the students protest firmly, chanting slogans, denouncing the injustice they are facing. The minister is in violation of the law because the exam system doesn't have a specific number, so we demand our rights and this concern. We don't trust the parliament because it is represented by political parties, both in government or the opposition. For me, the recent statement of the Minister of Justice is unjust because it is a great provocation for Moroccan people and it is a dictatorial speech. For the demonstrators, the Mahsan doesn't at all guarantee equal opportunities for Moroccans. We suffer from corruption and bribery and family relations. I address the word to the minister, you are Moroccan and Muslim, why do you speak with such arrogance? Our parents have no money. Launched into total disarray and unprecedented misery, Moroccans are going through the worst crisis in their history. The only way for them to fight against injustice is to take to the streets to express their rejection of the Mahzan's policy of repression. <laughs> A conference on the ancient port of Tipaza was held on Tuesday at the National Maritime Museum, accompanied by a 3D projection of the first digital model of the ancient harbor, an archaeological site listed as World Heritage Site by the UNESCO report by Rila Sult Hamouda, commentary by Sabrin Tafilginit. A 3D work of Tipaza's ancient port was achieved, and it is carried out under Dunya Burai's page, the project in Tipaza's university center. This work was based on the sport's archaeological and underwater marks. The main goal is to introduce coastal archaeology, a field that has never been studied in Algeria. This is the first experience, and we will try to do archaeological maps for all the ancient Roman ports. I'm in charge of the ports of the east from Tushel to Al Qala, and it is part of my PhD final work. We prefer to show our results in 3D simulation. This way, we can touch both the public and archaeologists. It is for sure a typical experience that allows a total immersion and a magical dive into this world of antiquity. In the other side, the scientific and cultural one, this project helps preserve and enhance this patrimony. This digitization will contribute in the management and the decision making. When officials assess the importance of a site, the decisions taken will concern exploitation and the construction of common projects in the sites. For these two researchers, this type of work that enhances and reinforces cultural patrimony has surely significant impact at an economic level.
And with that, our news edition comes to a close. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.